Hi, I'm Miss Austin, and I'm so sorry that I am missing open house tonight. I got my dates mixed up, and I actually have a class scheduled for tonight, and so I'm unable to make it. But I just want to welcome your student to physics and just let you know that I'm really happy that they are in my class. Um, one of the things I say as a disclaimer sometimes is um, I was born with this sarcastic voice, and so if your students say, my teacher doesn't like me, um, I fall in love with my students every single year. It's kind of miraculous, and so assure them that I do like them, and I want to do everything I can to help them be successful. Um, physics is a really challenging class. It is probably the most challenging class that they will take at this high school um, or even in college. It's a really hard subject because it requires formal logic, which a lot of students um, literally don't have the nor uh, neuronal brain development for that, but it's something that usually develops between 16 and 18 years old. So many of them are just kind of on the cusp of um, having like the physiological in their brain necessary connections in order to do physics. So I understand that and I do everything I can to make the class be as concrete as possible. But nevertheless, no matter how I try to make it fun and to be a supportive person, don't be surprised if your student occasionally cries because they're so frustrated. Um, I will cry with them because I'll like, be frustrated with myself that I can't help them better. But I do everything I can to make this um, kind of a warm, welcoming environment. For example, someday I have a big bin of stuffed animals and sometimes um, you just need to come in and hold an animal for a while. Um, and so uh, tell your student if they're not feeling well, just grab an animal and you can hug it. Um, and also, if you do see signs of stress in your student, please, um, please contact me immediately. A lot of times there are things I can do to modify assignments or adjust deadlines that as long as the student has been showing good effort, um, I will do what I can to work with them. I always tell students, I care as much about your grade as you do. Um, okay, there is so much information I could cover and there's no way I can cover all of it. So I am going to just address the few items that, um, I'm not sure, I think my camera's over here, um, that Mr. Evans asked us to address in his handout this year. Um, so the first thing is that um, I will enter grades into progress book at least weekly and I've changed up my grading scheme a little bit this year so I'm hoping to do it even more frequently than weekly. Um, if you, uh, everything happens through Canvas so grades or assignments are all posted on Canvas and students have to submit assignments through Canvas. Um, they are, students can actually do paper and pencil handouts. So with every assignment I give, uh, just about all of them, um, I will give a paper handout if they want one. And so they, they can write on the paper, they just need to then take a picture of it and upload it to Canvas. And I found that that is easier for me because then I never lose anything. Um, students, you know, always know, there's always documentation of when things were handed in. And so it just makes it easier for the student and I that, if everything's done in Canvas, there's agreement on what happened when. Um, so with that in mind, I encourage you to be an observer in Canvas. Um, I've got instructions posted um, outside my door on how parents can be an observer in Canvas. And um, if you need help with that, just send me an email. Um, I use iPads every single day. It's very rare that we don't use an iPad. And so your student has to come to my class with their iPad charged and working. And if it's not charged and working, they won't be able to upload their assignment for the day. And so they won't receive credit for the day. They'll get a zero. Uh, Mrs. Bennett um, can give them a loaner iPad if their iPad is broken and she's very fast about um, fixing things. Um, and if it's not charged, again, there's nothing they can do. They will get a zero for the day if the iPad is not charged. Um, I'm available to help students. I have fourth period planning. I have fifth period study hall. And then I'm available after school on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday until 325. Um, students have to keep up with their assignments. Physics is a class that builds. And so if they are absent, um, they have the time, the district policy, the number of days that are absent plus one 
to turn things in. Um, we do a lot of hands-on stuff with equipment in this class. And so these are not things that they'll be able to do at home. They will actually have to come to my classroom to make up most assignments. Um, so I'm actually going to be gone next week. My daughter is a freshman in college and she is going to school out west. And so there's going to be a sub all week long. Um, I'm a little freaked out about it because I don't ever miss five days in a school year, much less five days all at once. And so I um, am doing my best to do assignments or give your students assignments that they will be able to complete with a sub. But I will also give them my phone number where they should text or call me immediately um, if they are running into problems. And this is something that I did during COVID. I gave students my um, phone number and they just texted me and it was never a problem if they had questions. Um, and so I will do that um, just so that they can get in touch with me next week in case they are concerned. Um, so as I said, oh, I should also talk about, I'm changing my um, teaching approach a little bit this year. Um, the first half of the year, we're going to look at the physics content uh, conceptually and just develop some vocabulary school skills and intuition. And then starting in January, we will start doing more computation. So the first part of the course is going to be a little bit easier. And then the second part of the course will get a little bit more challenging. But as I said, if your student appears to be stressed out, please don't hesitate to um, have them talk to me or if you think they might not, just send me an email and um, I'll do what I can to help. So I hope you have a wonderful evening. And again, I'm sorry that I was not able to meet you in person. Um, please send me an email if you just wanna say hi. Thank you.